The story Paul's case is related to a schoolboy named Paul escaping monotonous life by committing suicide. His frustration is his middle-class life mixed with a desire for a luxurious lifestyle which makes him anxious to create a perfect lifestyle for himself. In the story, Paul is presented as a case since he is a misfit who by standards of society needs to be studied and reformed. He is suspended from his school for a week for his various misdemeanors. He struggles to fit in at home and in school. He is tall, thin and narrow-shouldered with enlarged pupils that remind one of a drug addict's eyes. Paul's faculty hearing takes place one week after he was suspended. In the presence of the principal, his teachers state that they have so much difficulty with him. Disorder and impertinence are among the offenses they charge against him. They also react strongly to his attitude of hysterical defiance and physical revulsion at being touched. After the hearing, he goes to the town where he works as an usher at the opera house. He enjoys the concert and admires the soloist who he thinks looks dignified and worthy of respect in her gown and jewels. After the concert, he feels irritable, wretched and restless. It always happens until he gets to sleep. After the singer comes out of the concert hall, Paul trails her to the hotel. He imagines that he is following her inside the luxurious hotel, the Shenley. He turns away from the hotel and walks home. He reaches Cordelia Street where he lives. All the houses on Cordelia Street are exactly alike. Middle-class businessmen bought them for their families. All their children go to school and love arithmetic. The next day after supper Paul nervously asks his father if he can visit a friend to get some help in geometry and more nervously asks for car fare. His father gives him money. He leaves the house with his school books under his arms. He doesn't go to his friend's house. Instead, he goes to see Charlie Edwards, a young actor. Paul finds a schoolroom worse after a night at the theater under the concert hall. His teachers go to Paul's father. He takes Paul out of school and makes him get a job. A week later, his boss gives him a large amount of money to take to the bank. He puts the money in his coat and walks out of the bank. Paul takes a train to New York. When he arrives in New York, he buys expensive clothes and various traveling bags. He rents a room at a hotel. All that's missing are flowers which he sends a bellboy to buy. On the eighth day after his arrival in New York, he finds a report in the newspaper about his crime. He goes to Newark on a train, then takes a cab out of the town. He leaves the cab near some railway tracks and notices that the carnation he has bought are drooping. He buries it in the snow and dozes off for a time. He awakens to hear an approaching train. He jumps in front of it and kills himself.